I'm the Director of Safety and Well-Being for Denver Urban Residents Association. And I'm affiliated with Denver Homeless Outlaws. What are you guys doing? Uh, so today we are celebrating the, uh, the Homeless Bill of Rights campaign. It's, uh, it's a bill that's going through legislation that will decriminalize acts of survival, public survival, uh, for the entire state of Colorado. Uh, what will that bill do? Uh, so some of the mechanisms of the bill is that they will, uh, they will decriminalize sleeping outdoors, uh, decriminalize sleeping in cars, uh, be able to share and receive food in parks without any kind of uh, pressure from the state. Why is that important? Uh, it's important to, <laughs> it's important to receive food uh, for multiple reasons. Uh, uh, some people just don't have the capacity to, to grow their own food or to buy their own food. And uh, with the dwindling social safety net, um, it's becoming more imperative that we're able to be more communal and to share food with one another. So what are you guys doing out here today? Uh, today we're, you know, just throwing a festival, uh, bringing awareness to the issue, uh, kind of uh, trying to build a campaign support uh, in order to help to succeed in uh, this year's legislation. And does this have something to do with the urban, urban camping ban at all? Uh, yeah, so the unauthorized camping ordinance that passed in Denver a couple years ago um, was a major step for people here in Denver to organize around trying to get that repealed. Um, finding that the city is unwilling to budge on the issue, uh, we, we approach, started approaching state functionaries, uh, people in the state that uh, are that are approved, approving of uh, the freedoms of people and uh, not, not letting uh, discriminatory ordinances come out uh, in city councils. Um, you know, I, the camping ban is, is unethical in many, many ways. Uh, it sort of specifically discriminates against people who are experiencing poverty and people who don't have a house. And uh, since there isn't enough shelter room to actually house people in, uh, making it illegal to be outside, to sleep outside, is, is really silly and uh, self-defeating, and it actually perpetuates uh, issues of homelessness and, and makes it harder to escape a cycle of poverty, uh, which in the long run will create more homeless individuals. So what would you like to see done here? Uh, at the festival or? In no, just with the laws. Well, with, with the laws, I think that uh, enabling people to be able to provide for themselves is the first step. And uh, if, we, if we don't even have that basic minimum, then people are never going to escape the whole poverty. So uh, overturning all these discriminatory laws that target the homeless is, is uh, what I would like to see. Anything else you want to say? I have a question for you. Just how many um, organizations are involved in putting this together? This festival? Uh, the uh, Bill of Rights. So the, the Homeless Bill of Rights is tied into a larger campaign that's going on along the West Coast. Uh, there's a group called the Western Regional Advocacy Project, uh, which is tied into over 180 different organizations. So uh, this bill is being run currently in Oregon, California, and Washington State. And uh, we joined up with them sometime last year uh, for here in Colorado. So, hooray. That's good for me.